Hi, I'm Jeff Cronshaw, Chief Electrical Engineer at the IET. I'm here at London Fire Brigade headquarters to talk through some important changes proposed by Amendment 3 of the 17th edition of the Wiring Regulations on the topic of fire protection. Amendment 3 includes proposals for consumer units to have non-combustible enclosures rather than plastic and also introduces requirements that the wiring systems in escape routes are to be supported so they're not compromised in the case of fire. I'm joined here by Charlie Pugsley from the Fire Investigation Team here at London Fire Brigade Headquarters. Charlie, thank you for joining us. Can you tell us what faults have led to the ignition of the plastic case of the consumer unit? The main fault has been a loose connection in a terminal causing a high resistance uh, connection which then leads to a fire. Additionally, we've also had a few issues with non-compliant products that can lead to a fire. Amendment 3 also makes some changes to the securing of wiring systems in escape routes. Why has this change been made? We believe it's essential because we've, had, we've lost three firefighters in the course of uh, firefighting operations where the clips have become uh, damaged by fire and cables have dropped and then crews have become entangled and we feel this is a really good positive step to improve safety for our officers and also for the public, particularly as it may be on escape routes. What can be done about the problems? The National Wiring Regulations Committee, JPL 64, have considered these issues and have proposed additional measures for consumer units within a new regulation in BS 7671 as part of Amendment 3, which also includes non-combustible enclosures. Amendment 3 also includes a new requirement for the securing of wiring systems in the escape routes. Why are these changes important? It is essential that the findings and experience of the London Fire Brigade is acknowledged and that measures are put into place to ensure that the tragedies we witness or are party to are prevented in future. We're pleased that these changes will be reflected in the new wiring regulations. What impact will this have on fire protection officers? It's hoped that when these changes are implemented, fire officers will see a reduction in this kind of fire and that the safety of the, not only our officers but the people we protect is ensured. Thank you, Charlie, for explaining these important issues. It's important to point out, of course, that these changes are proposals at this stage and still have to be fully approved by the committee before they can be published in January.